Well, we're, uh, we've had a lot of changes from last year um, with, uh, with losing Moa Madsen, which, you know, is, is unfortunate. But, um, but I, I think as you lose players, other players step up. And I, I think we had a pretty good spring. Um, and we had some kids that were injured last year uh, have good springs. And we're um, pretty excited about our, our incoming freshman class and, of course, our schedule this year. I think uh, the schedule is challenging, but I, I think it's all games that we can certainly compete against and, and do well, even though that uh, we're going to have a very, very young team. Um, we, we still have a couple of good senior captains with uh, Grace Coombs and Lawrence Savage um, and Britt Moore, our other senior. So um, you know, I think we have good leadership. Um, but I also think the, uh, the freshmen and sophomores are going to have to uh, contribute immediately, and that's why a lot of them came to UMass. We have Danny Krasinski um, at goal, and Danny last year came in, um, and we thought Danny, uh, I mean, Danny had a chance last year of challenging for our, our starting keeper job. She got injured in, in preseason um, a little bit, which took her a couple weeks behind, but that was, um, you know, not a bad thing because we had Emily Coda and Steph Gordon, two very, very good seniors. So. Um, kind of her misfortune ended up being a good fortune for her because she sat out last year, she redshirted, she got to learn from those two very, very talented and successful Division One goalkeepers. Um, she got to train with them every day and uh, Steph and, and Emily both have different attributes that I think uh, Danny absorbed uh, in, in practices and uh, we, we think and we hope Danny can come in and uh, step right in and, uh, and do well for us. And we have a, another freshman, Tori Gonzalez, that'll come in and uh, um, you know, and fight for a spot, but we're really hoping for big things from, from Danny this year. On defense, we're excited, uh, probably uh, where we return the most players back on defense. We return um, all of our starters on defense, um, and we have a couple other talented freshmen coming in that, that could challenge for spots. Um, so our, our defense we thought was good last year, and we thought got better and better as the year went along um, and progressed. And uh, we're hoping that our, our defense can really be the, uh, the anchor of our team and something that we can build around. Um, as all those girls now, uh, with Lawrence Kasavage, our captain back there and senior, but the other three are sophomores. Um, and, and as I said, um, I think they started every single one of our games last year. So, so we're excited about that. Um, and in the midfield, um, we have Grace coming back, um, Coombs who's been working hard this summer. Um, and she had, a, I think, probably her best year at UMass last year for us. We really played well against some of the bigger teams with UCLA and Wake Forest um, and uh, in Virginia Tech. So um, Grace usually finds a way of playing well in the big games. Um, we have um, Becky Landers, who was hurt all last year, um, really started to play well towards the end of last year, coming off her ACL tear at the end of her freshman year. But Becky, um, Becky probably had our best spring uh, of any of our players, um, and she really impressed us. Really worked hard, um, so it's good to have Becky back in, in our in our system. Um, and uh, as far as attack and mids, we have a couple freshmen that that we hope can step in and um, and contribute. And um, they're going to have to fill um, some good shoes and. Uh, and get in and play well right off the bat. So I, I think right now that's an area that we're looking at kind of by committee. Um, it's kind of open for us right now, so hopefully we do well um, there. And as far as uh, our forwards go, we have uh, um, a lot of returners from last year and uh, Darcy and Jackie Bruno and Jen Coppola um, and Britt Moore, who also stepped up there last year and played there for us. Um, and then we have four or five talented freshmen. So I really think um, there's going to be a tremendous amount of competition up at forward for us. Um, and I really, um, looking at that group, um, I'm not sure you could look at any one of them individually and say they're going to score 10, 15 goals. Hopefully one of them will do that. But I think that you could look at them and say that group can score 30 between them because um, they're all very fast, they're talented, they put a lot of pressure. So I, I think we're going to be a different type of team this year, being able to put a lot of pressure on teams and, uh, and get in behind people. So that's our, that's our goal. I, I certainly hope so. We have um, a freshman that we're really high on that uh, that we thought could be a, a, a very good impact player, Terror ACL. So hopefully we'll get her back sometimes to, uh, something, sometime toward the end of uh, September or for A-10s. We'll have to make a decision on her, Jackie Miller. Um, but um, having said that, I do think that we have a lot of, as I mentioned, very similar type of players that, uh, that are athletic, they're fast, um, and they're talented, um, and hopefully they're hungry. Um, and I think that um, any given day we can throw different combinations out there. Um, and, and I think that being deeper than we've ever 
been in the past is going to help us on those Friday Sunday games, especially for the A10, or especially in the traveling, because I think one of the things that we really focused on in the spring is um, a weakness of ours was traveling, um, and that happens sometimes with young teams where we'd have to play on Friday and come back on a Sunday. Maybe we didn't have the depth or injuries, but I'm hoping this year that that we have that depth, um, and, and I think that. Uh, one trait that that my teams have had since I've been here at UMass is we tend to play well um, in the month of October. So that's something that uh, I hope we continue. Yeah, it, it's it's a bit of a difference for us as far as um, not having Rhode Island as our travel partner. We do do have a couple games where Rhode Island will play Friday and we'll play Sunday, but it's it's kind of uh, um, we're all playing different teams this year with the uh, um, and with the lesson schedule, um, and, and it's some of the good things are we. we Still do have a couple of Friday Sunday matches, um, but some of those Fridays might be at home and a Sunday might be away. Um, a very difficult one for us this year that we're going to have to manage through is if we play Dayton at home on a Friday, um, and then we get on the airplane and fly to St. Louis for a, uh, a Sunday match. That's something that we're going to have to uh, get used to and, uh, um, and and be very focused on. Um, but we also do have a couple of. Uh, um, just uh, solo game weekends this year, which is different for us. So that, that's good, and some of those are home and uh, a couple are away. So uh, I think uh, that'll lead for better play in the A-10, especially with the girls um, on both sides not being quite as tired. Well, it, it's a little bit different from last year. Last year at this time, we were looking at the, uh, the UCLA, um, Wake Forest, and Virginia Tech games. Having UCLA at home is something that we, we're still very proud of having and, and, you know, uh, and playing that team very well. Um, but this year we have St. John's at home, which will be a good test for us. Um, we have Providence away. Um, we bring Northeastern in to play here um, this year, so I think that'll be a, a good match for us. And then we'll return to Northeastern next year. Um, we still have our Bryants and UNHs, some of our, our traditional games. We bring um, um, Army here this year, so that'll be good, and we're excited to, to have them come to UMass. Um, and then uh, I think our big game that we're looking forward to is the Texas A&M match, which is, I think is just uh, Texas A&M is one of the leading teams in the country for attendance. Um, I think last year um, they've averaged, uh, well, anywhere the last five or six years, they average anywhere from two to 4,000 people for a women's soccer match. So I think that's going to be um, very exciting for us. I know a lot of our parents are traveling down, and some of our alums have uh, expressed interest in coming down. And uh, so I, I think that'll be a, a good match for us. Um, and I think all those together um, will help prepare us for, for the challenges of the A-10.